What's up everyone, I'm Dan and I'm going to be looking at Mothered on the Nintendo Switch. Big shout out to Dolores Entertainment for the review code and to Asdin from Grin and Wolf Games who played and reviewed this one and with that let's get into this. Mothered is a first person horror adventure game with point and click mechanics. Set in a familiar yet eerily unnatural depiction of home, set over the course of seven days you play the role of Liana, a young girl who's arrived home to stay with her mother after having undergone major surgery. Upon arriving at your new home, all you'll find is a strange mannequin who claims to be your mother. After a brief chat, you'll discover more about the role that you play in this world. Can Liana help her mother go back to the way things were, or will you find yourself repeating past mistakes? You begin the game in your dad's car and he explains that you're going home with your mother. He alludes that you have been recovering from a major operation and that your memories may be a bit foggy. The cryptic language of this faceless driver seems to get weirder as you approach the house. Your arrival is greeted by a stormy night and what seems like an empty house. Your father remains in the car and asks that you bring a box to him before going to bed. All of these tiny obscure interactions within the five first minutes of gameplay will have you hooked as you try to figure out what's going on, hoping to find some sense, but you will be left asking far more questions. Your point of view and the short character's height makes this world seem a lot bigger than it should be. This is especially true when talking to your mother, a very basic rendered mannequin that dwarfs your character in stature. Her proportions alongside her squeaky speech are uncomfortable and eerie. She will be your main point of communication and also give the players tasks to complete. These are pretty simple ones aimed at familiarizing the player with where everything is within the home, on paper it sounds monotonous but the experience is the sum of all of its parts. Without giving too much away, some moments will leave you feeling on edge. You wake up, have breakfast, find your mother, complete the task and go to bed at night. In between these activities, you'll attempt to speak to your brother who's shut in his room. There are sections closed off but will open up as the days go by. Controls are relatively simple, only using the control sticks and shoulder buttons, which is to be expected in a point and click adventure. The main critique is the weight of the player whilst running, albeit understandable since you play as a child. The other again is related to the misclicking of objects when in interactive mode. Again, these are minor issues. The sandbox game is not huge and that plays well with a game that will require the player to investigate each area regularly to see if there are any changes or clues that might help to decipher what's going on. The most tedious activity was apple picking, as you have to look for them and they seem to respawn intermittently. Again, you will feel slightly on edge throughout, as much as going to watch a horror movie at the cinema. The chores and script go hand in hand with the suspense that the developers are going for. The main question is not how long the game is, but when does it end? Visually, the game is very archaic. The assets are extremely simple and rigid, with the clever use of a VHS filter on top. Although antiquated, the gritty visuals work well in this game. Assets in the environment such as water are blackened out and this along with the rest of the world added to the tension of expecting a jump scare. The audio, although limited and simple, complements the visuals and the tone. The passage of time erupts on screen with a high pitched harrowing sound akin to 80s horror movies. Mothered is a hard game to review. On one hand, it has a lot of clever components that help elevate the fright factor and on the other, there's a lot of trying not to spoil because this needs to be experienced. Superficially, it is very low budget, but few games can evoke isolation and claustrophobia like this one. The jerky animations of Mother alongside her obscure dialogue and squeaky speech help create a tense atmosphere. This is not a jump scare sort of game, but it is a horror that has to be played and savored with all of its jankiness. It will be interesting to see what the developer will do next, but this one is recommended for horror point and click fans out there. Mothered is available on the Nintendo Switch eShop from the 31st of March and is priced at $8.99 in the UK and $9.99 in the US. 
big thanks again to Asdin for the review. Thank you all for watching. Don't forget to hit that like button if you like the review. Subscribe for more and I'll catch you next time. Okay. Okay. Okay.